I had to go from a depth map to a SDL in Aspire. Create new file. Uh, okay. I use 48 by 48. I think that's a file, so I won't ever get into any trouble. Uh, select this button. Select the Liberty Bell. There it is. It come in at 48. Um, center it. Centered. Close. Select that button. And the STL is pretty much complete. There it is. It's got a square outline on it. To get rid of the square outline if you don't want it, just click the circle. Uh, a radius of 42. Create a circle. Create. Close. There's the circle. Uh, 42. You select that. That looks centered. I want it just a little bit bigger. 44. There. Um, I'm inside all the way around. Yes. Close. Um, press the shift button. And select the center of the screen. I'll figure out the way. Select the screen here. Come over and press this button. And it's all gone. Go back to 2D view. Just with the vector selected, press delete on the keyboard. There it is in all its glory. Uh, model. Oh, I want to do this. Left click it with your mouse, left click it again, and then right mouse down and hold it. Select this center one here. And you can make it as tall as you want it. I like 1.5 millimeters. It's in inches here, but it comes out in millimeters when I load it into my software from my laser. So obviously not for the CNC, but there it is. Ed made this file. God, it's real good. Um, oh, export. Let me square it up. I don't know if that matters or not, but square it up. Click model. Export as STL. One, two, three zeros. One, two, three zeros and a one. Triangulate. Eight, eight, ten seconds maybe. Save triangulation. Keep up with where you're putting it. I've already got it, so I'm going to end up deleting this. So I just put a one right there. Save. All done. Close. File. Close, and you're finished. So what I do now is just uh, create new file to see it and to know that it worked good. Okay, uh, model, import component 3D, find that one, admit. As it comes in, verify that it's still round, it's not. Unlock this, change this to whatever you want it. I like 37 there, 37 there, and position and import, yeah, I want to apply it, thank you, and look for this here, make sure it's at the bottom, if it's up like that, a lot of times you got too much base on it, but it should normally be there, import it, and there you go, it's ready to put into your laser. Well, it was already ready, but it's ready to put into your laser or create a toolpath for your uh, CNC. And there's no back.